Shalom. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you why critical thinking in business is paramount. Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, if you like this video, if you like videos like this pertaining to business, how to set yourself free, how to set your family free, how to start a business, check out my business playlist, okay? So today's, you know, topic is why critical thinking, being able to think on your feet is very important in business. I've often said, man, all clients or customers are not your ideal customers. So I get a phone call today for a guy. Like I get plenty of phone calls with people wanting to board uh, their dogs and use our daycare program. So this guy calls and he says, hey, man, I'm really in a crunch, man. You know, uh, got to be to work at 5 a.m. and uh, need some daycare for my dog. What are your hours? What are your rates? And I've learned before I commit to saying I have availability for somebody, I'm often gonna get some blueprint data on their dog, okay? So this guy calls, he says, yeah, man, uh, you know, really need some daycare for my dog. And he proceeds to tell me, man, the dog, you know, we didn't have to buy three kennels because if I leave him at home, he's got separation anxiety. And uh, without even asking, he says, he says, yeah, man, you know those wire metal kennels, those extra large ones? I said, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about, those residential kennels. He says, well, my dog can chew through those, and then also he'll get out and he's torn up my house. I come home and my house is torn up. And he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all got any availability? I would surely uh, greatly appreciate it. After him telling me that, I said, hey, sir, you know, uh, unfortunately, I gave him the information about our daycare rates. I said, hey, uh, you know, this is our this is our program. This is what it like. Gave him all the information. But I had to say, hey, at this time, we don't have any availability. It's not that we don't have availability. We don't have availability for destructive dogs. I want you to think, man, I've made a mistake through not critical thinking, not knowing any better when we first started out of boarding very strong uh, dogs that have separation anxiety. And what happens is um, you know, our kennels that we use are heavy duty kennels and they're about 400 to 500 bucks, depending on when you get them and, uh, where you get them, if they got any deals, you know, you got to think critically think somebody wanting to, uh, if we're using the, the price of $20 a day for daycare and my kennels is four to 500 bucks, think about how many days that person would have to pretty much, uh, commit to doing business with you in order to reimburse you for what it costs to replace a kennel. And then think about it, you're not making any money on the back end. So for that reason, if this guy is saying his dog is eating through kennels, residential metal wire kennels, we incur all the liability. We stand to lose more money and not make any money. And then uh, you could find yourself in one of those situations where the dog tears your kennel up and cuts himself on some of the metal. And next thing you know, here you are liable having to pay for lawyer fees, insurance premiums going up, uh, people getting on Google business and, and uh, you know, people getting on Google and leaving bad reviews and airing you out. It's better to not take the business. It's better to not acquire that new customer because they definitely do not meet our preferred or, or um, they do not meet our preferred, you know, uh, customer or client requirements or prerequisites some of these people have very aggressive dogs and if you're thirsty for the money if you're thirsty for all the business then you're going to make that mistake and inquire all the liabilities so i had to say yeah yeah yes yeah, sir, sir sorry sir you just uh you know if you would have called a day earlier we would have had availability but right now our daycare program is is at max capacity I can keep your name on our uh, our wait list. If anything comes up, I can let you know. That customer was added to the block list. I don't want anybody else calling on behalf of trying to get that dog boarded. The original owner's name, get all the blueprint data. 
write it down, block. We don't want no business from them. See, a lot of customers want to pass off their problems. This guy was perfectly fine with, okay, I don't want my dog uh, tearing up my house, tearing up these cages. We had to buy three cages, but I want him to come over and tear your place up. Uh, no, sir, we don't have any availability. I'll be glad to add you to our wait list. And uh, if anything opens up, we will let you know. And just, just wait on the phone for them to be like, oh man, all right, well, I surely appreciate it. Click, blocked. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking a gun, barrel straight.